Hello YouTube, Yaroslav is here with another video. Today I'm gonna talk about FreeNAS monitoring with the help of SNMP and Zabbix. For those of you who don't know, Zabbix is a cool open source network and system monitoring tool. Some of you may say, hey, but FreeNAS has got a net data in the last few releases. What's the point of Zabbix monitoring it? Well, let's just say you've got a hundred of FreeNAS boxes distributed across all your clients. How can you tell when there is a drive failure? Or maybe some maintenance people decided to disconnect one of the network interfaces and forgot to plug the cables back in. Zabbix can see all of that and even more. Plus, you don't have to open a hundred of browser tabs, it's all in one place. Alright, with that short intro aside, let's get started. Zabbix and FreeNAS are fresh installations. There are next to no changes done on both of them. The only thing I had to do on FreeNAS is activate the SSH service and SNMP service, which are down here at the bottom. For demo purposes, and to make things easier, I have SSH root login with password enabled on FreeNAS, like so. And my SNMP community string is set to public. Right here. Also change your log level to info if you want to get more information out of your FreeNAS box. If you're not familiar with SNMP, it stands for Simple Network Monitoring Protocol and community string acts as a password. Make sure you set a complex community string in your production environment to avoid any data leaks. First off, let's prepare our Zabbix backend to monitor SNMP, which is not installed nor configured by default. So for terminal emulator, I have Tilex open, which allows me to have two terminal sessions side by side on the left, we have Zabbix. On the right is our FreeNAS. This is done for ease of use and for demo purposes, so it's easier for you to see. So let's start with installing SNMP package. Following by SNMP MIPS downloader. For those of you not familiar with MIB, it stands for Management Information Base, and it is a collection of definitions that define the properties of the managed object within the device to be managed. In other words, it is just a library that helps monitoring system understand which number corresponds to what value. As you can see, I received an error here and I just remembered that we have to activate non-free repositories for Debian 10 in order to install MIPS downloader. So let me activate that repository real quick. Now we should be able to install MIPS downloader just fine. After that is installed, we have to comment out one line in snmp.conf file. which is just this line here. Essentially what this file does is it only activates certain MIBs and by commenting the line out, we are activating all of them. Now let's refresh our MIBs library. If you didn't catch that, it's done with download 
dash mips command. Now when that is done, we should be able to perform SNMP walk on our FreeNAS system. So this is the IP of my FreeNAS server. Community string is public. SNMP version one. So let's just give it a go and see what it does. I stopped it, but as you can see, SNMP is working. But the default MIBS library doesn't include FreeNAS. So we have to create our own local MIBS repository. Just follow me and repeat the steps I'm doing. Create the folder with SNMP configuration. Now this folder will keep all of our MIP files. This command tells SNMP that there is other local MIPs available. Now we have to change into that new directory for local MIPs. To get our FreeNAS MIP file, we have to SSH into FreeNAS which I already did here, CD to this folder. And there are many ways to transfer files between Linux systems. But for demo purposes, I'll do it quick and dirty way. I'll just cat FreeNAS MIP into standard output and then we'll copy it across to my Zabbix machine. So I've checked the file by scrolling up and it seems good to me. Let's just exit and save. At this point, our back end configuration is done. The only thing we have to do is to restart Zabbix server. So it is aware of the changes we made. Okay, server is restarted. Let's just get back to the web interface. Here is our Zabbix installation. First thing you have to do is go to administration, general, click on this drop down menu and choose macros. Change your SNMP community string to whatever you set it to inside FreeNAS and click update. I'm not going to do that because my string is already public. Now we need to import FreeNAS monitoring template into Zabbix. To do that, Go to configuration, templates, and click on import template. So this is a template from Zabbix share, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. But essentially what you need to do is follow the instructions. So import this three templates first. Now import them into Zabbix one by one. Make sure you set the right permissions for this templates. Now let's get back to that Zabbix share and download our FreeNAS template. Then obviously import it into our Zabbix. So 
so all four templates are imported successfully. Now go to configuration hosts and create a new host. Give it a name. In my case, I'll name it FreeNAS. Add it to a group. Now for section with agent interfaces, we have to change the IP address to match our free NAS. In my case, it is 172 Then the same goes for SNMP interfaces. Now switch to templates tab and add the template that we just imported. Which is this one, FreeNAS 11. Now go back to host and click add. It will take some time to discover the SNMP interface and start pulling the values. So you can grab a coffee and come back in five to 10 minutes. And last thing before I forgot, FreeNAS template does not include ping check by default. And it is really handy to have one in case your FreeNAS is completely down or there was some delay in the network. You certainly want to know that. So let's just add a ping template to our FreeNAS server and hit update. While we were doing that, our SNMP agent was discovered because SNMP became green down here. So this means that Subix started pulling monitoring data off our FreeNAS box. Let's just go to latest data, click inside hosts text box and start typing our FreeNAS server hosting. Okay, so we already have information like device uptime, available RAM, ping. It even managed to pull ZFS statistics that quick. Now, after some time, it will discover all of the Z volumes and data pools, but on the big installations like the one in our office, we had to wait for up to 30 minutes for all values to populate. So I think this is a time to wrap it up because my FreeNAS server was just installed and doesn't have any data on it. I cannot show you anything interesting. So just install it on your system and get it going. This is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And as usual, I'll see you in the next video.